Here we have a kidney. Looks like a kidney bean. <laughs> Number one over there is the ureter. Number one is the long tube. It's the ureter. Number two, which is right in here where the ureter comes off of there, is the renal pelvis. Number one's the ureter here. Number two is the renal pelvis. Number three is the major calyx right here. Major calyx. Number four is a minor calyx. So it's like the big branch and then it breaks off into like two other smaller parts and that so those are each a minor calyx. Major calyx, minor calyx. Number five is the renal artery. Um, one way to tell the difference between arteries and veins, Dr. Apps just told me in prosection today, is that arteries kind of hold their shape better. The um, veins are more of a like sinus, like weak walled sinus, so they, they're more floppy. This is pretty rigid and tube, still tube looking. So that is a uh, renal artery. Number six is a branch that comes off of this renal artery, so that is a segmented artery. Renal artery, segmented artery. Then we have the renal vein, which is this more floppy, more squishy, it doesn't really hold its shape as well. Number eight is the renal vein. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the this before it branches. This is the renal vein. Then number eight is the segmented vein. So again, the more floppy one that's like pretty much squished looking is the uh, renal vein, and then it branches off into the segmented vein. And number five is the superior pole. So this is the superior pole, so this is a left kidney, because if it was in the body it would be like this, because this is the superior pole, and this is the inferior pole. And uh, so, number nine is the, inf or sorry, superior pole, number ten is the lateral border, because it's on the outside, lateral border. Number eleven is like I just mentioned, the inferior pole. Uh, number 12 is the posterior surface. Oh, so that would make this a uh, right kidney, actually. My bad. Okay. If this is the back, this is the front, or the top, back, and this is the bottom, then this would be in the body like this, so that would make it a right kidney. Okay, so this is the posterior surface, of course on the bottom, if he had it pinned, would be the anterior surface. And then number 13 is the cortex, or the, kind of like the, the um, capsule to the kidney is the cortex. And then number 14 is the um, papilla, it's where the, the cortex kind of comes down into, like Dr. Apps mentioned, it was kind of looked like little tiny fingers poking into the medulla. Um, and then 15 is the renal column in the medulla. So 14 is the papilla, renal papilla. Number 15 is the renal column in the medulla. Number 16, right in here, is a renal sinus. So it's like that opening in there. It's pretty, pretty clear that that's like a, an opening, a renal sinus. And then number 17 is the polar artery.
number 17 is a polar artery. So it's coming off of the um, superior portion of the kidney on the uh, more medial side, near, kind of near the hillis there. That's the polar artery. Number 18 is this very faded, <laughs> sad looking tag. Um, and that's pointing out the renal hillis. So I'm not quite sure. I thought, hmm. Anyways, number 18, renal hillis. Okay. And that is a right kidney.